Hi everyone, my name is Abdurrahman and in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through user roles and permissions on the Paystack dashboard. To get started, first we log into the Paystack dashboard. Next, you come to the menu panel here and click on settings. When you do, you come here and click on team. Next, you come to this page from where you can now manage user roles and invite new users to the Paystack dashboard. So first, I'm going to show you all the existing default user roles on Paystack dashboard. And to access that, we simply come here and click on manage roles. Now, by default, as the business owner, your default user role is business owner. Now, in addition to that, we now have four other default roles. There is the admin user role, operations, developer support, and then finally, the customer support user role. So I'm going to walk you through each one of them, give you a brief, and then also list out the things on the Paystack dashboard that they can manage and those things which they do not have access to. So starting with the admin user. Now this role grants users the permission to manage every single thing on the Paystack dashboard. Now on this column here by the left is all the things that an admin user has access to and can manage. While on the column by the right here, we have a message which says this role has full access because as I said earlier, an admin user has access to every single thing on the Paystack dashboard. So now the next default user role is operations. And now this user role grants users the permission to also manage every single thing on the Paystack dashboard except moving money out. So this here on the left column, the one in green, are the things which an operations user has access to. And here on the column by the right are the things which an operations user does not have access to. So for a developer support, this user role grants users the permissions necessary for providing technical support. And here on the left are the things which they have access to. And here on the right, the things which they cannot manage on the Paystack dashboard. So finally, we have the customer support user role. And here we can see that they can only do two things. The first one is they can view transactions. And the second thing is that they can view customers. So this long list here is a list of the things which they do not have access to on the Paystack dashboard. So now let's go back to um, the former page and invite a new team member to this Paystack dashboard. To do that, we click on invite team member. And when we do, we then provide the email address of that team member. So let's say the email address is test at demo.com. You, put, you, you enter that email address and next you select a user role for the person you are inviting. So let's say it's operations. That's what we want to give them. So select an operations user role and then you check this box if the person you're inviting is a software developer. In this case, the person we're inviting isn't. So we just leave it unchecked and click on invite team member. Now, you get a pop-up telling you that an email that the person has been successfully added. So the person gets an email um, from Paystack telling them that they have been invited to this particular Paystack dashboard. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is to create a custom user role. So to do that, let's click on manage roles. Now, after you click on manage roles, you come under the customer role segment here and click on create a custom role. So the first thing we're expected to do is to name this custom role. So let's say we're creating one for interns in the operations department. So we say maybe intern operations associate. Okay. So um, the description of um, this user role, so we could do something like this role is for intern operations associates. Okay, so the next thing for us to do now is to select on a very granular level every single thing that we want them to have access to. So say we want them to be able to view business performance metrics, <clears throat> we want them to be able to view transfers, we want them to be able to view invoices, we want them to be able to create and manage sub accounts. If these are the only things which you want um, an intern's operations associate to have access to and we're satisfied with this, we then come here and click on create role. So after you click on create role now, <clears throat> you now have in the left and green column, a list of all the things which these user can have access to on the Paystack dashboard. And here on this long list 
these are the things which this user cannot manage on the page that dashboard so let's go back again to the previous page and let us change the user role of this email address the person with this email address to the one which you just created to do that you simply come here and click on change role and when you do you click here to select and here you have it in turn operations associate so let's select this and then click on save okay so now you can see here that the new rule has been updated to intern operations associate so next i'm going to show you how to remove a user from your paystack dashboard if you have the access to do that so you simply come here um this is the user we want to remove in this case and you click on remove here so let's click on remove it's asking if you really want to remove the answer is yes so let's click on yes yes remove so now the system is trying to remove this user from this paystack dashboard and then you have a message here saying that the user has been successfully removed so one last thing i'm going to show you is how to know what user permissions that you as a paystack as a user in the paystack dashboard have access to so to do that you simply come to your paystack dashboard you come to the top right corner here click on this icon and then click on permissions so here you have a message saying hi abdrahman your current role is admin now because i'm an admin i have access to everything as you can see here and on this column here you have you see a message telling me you have full access all right so this is everything you need to know on user roles and permissions on the paystack dashboard thanks for staying with me